Hello everybody, and my name is Kiribro, and welcome back to Pokemon Moon Super Blind Nuzlocke, the game where I haven't played Pokemon in three generations, and now I'm jumping in on hard mode, because I'm an idiot. Like, so, so, since last time up, I've pretty much just gone through uh, the rest of this little Route 2 here, area here, and uh, cleared up all the trainers, and you know what else I figured out that's a friggin' jip? You know how Route 2 last time gave, um... Just a whole bunch of like really cool stuff after I caught Makuhitu, which I think is his name. I honestly can't even remember. Look what else other cool stuff they had in here. They had this little uh, dark type Rattata. They had, hold on a second. There were Growliths kicking around in here. I could have got a Growlithe and gotten my fire type covered. And, 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 where is it? Not that thing. That thing, a trainer had that. I don't know what that is. Uh, this thing, a cutie fly. I think this might be a grass and fairy type? Bug and fairy, okay. So yeah, this was kicking around here. I could have had my first fairy Pokemon, but no. It chose to give me a weird little fighting one. <laughs> so I think uh, Makuhitu or Barney G I uh, was going to be the whipping boy of the group for a little while until I can gain an appreciation for him. Because I also came to understand that the fighting was like the reverse of psychics. So there's no reason for me to be hating on him. Psychics were just cooler. It's the way I've always looked at it. But anyways, I stopped right here because the flag is up ahead and I thought there might be a story thing. So let's just progress on here. Oh, God damn it! it's how. <laughs> how is it going, how? <laughs> I made it silly. How's it, Koobians? Your Pokemon doing all right? Yeah! Mm. Rest in peace, Trungus. <laughs> Same here! My team has seen better days for sure! Shut up, Hal! Stop trying to pretend you know me! Come on, Koobians, let's stop by the PMC. Not sure what the PMC is. What are we getting ourselves into here? Oh, it's a Pokemon Center. Okay, that makes sense. You know that Verdant Cavern place, right? I guess it's kind of like sacred to Tapu Koko? You aren't even allowed to go in unless you're in the island challenge. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I have something pretty amazing to share with you, you lucky thing. Three revives. That item is literally useless to me. <laughs> revives are solid items to have. Faints in battle and can't go on. Revive will perk them back up. Probably won't find revives here. Pokemarts sometimes sell different things. The two clerks of the counter even sell different things from one another. Yes, I knew that. Pump, buy myself a treat to pump myself up before trying the first trial. So let's talk to the peeps real quick, see if there's anything nice. Oricorio falls asleep on my tummy. I don't know what that is. Um, moment, live here in Alola. Do you mind? Sure, what is up? I'm actually here from with my darling hubby. So this Pokemon called Cutie Fly. We don't have them back home. Anyway, I wanted to ask if you could catch one. I am sorry, I can't. I can't. I'm stuck by rules. Caught a spear, will you trade for my Machop? I wish I had. I would love a Machop. But I don't have one. I am sorry. All right, let's see if they got anything special for me and then we'll just we'll just progress on. Okay. Uh so they had nothing special here. The flag has moved. Okay. Lands a critical hit, 50% more damage. What do you got for me? Oh, that's a nice view. If only the water in the sea were soda pop. That is a weird thing to wish for, lady. Gonna back away, not today. So up here we got a roadblock. This must be the way forward. We got us some more berries. I will take berries. Berry's pocket, Lepa Berry, more berries. Lepa Berry. And Lepa Berry. <sighs> I kinda wish this would go a little bit faster. So I think I can give a Oran Berry to Lippy still. Oh right. Uh, my guys need uh, a Pokemon Center stop before we go through. Okay, uh, enemy. <sighs> You just couldn't, you just couldn't let me through. You couldn't let me find, there's a Spearow. And I can't catch it. God damn. All right, I'll be back in a second. All right, and that's one less Spearow. Derpy Lee's grew to level 17, right. I did a bit of, uh, I, 
I guess grinding is the wrong word for it. I did say that I cleared up the trainers, so all my guys got a bit more experience in between episodes. Wait. Wait, what? At that, oh, 17? But, I, cool, this is great, but 17's such a weird level. I thought it was like 16 or 18. Okay, I'll take it, I guess. I get another evolution. Nice. Derpy leaves evolved into Brion. That looks kind of okay, I guess. Uh, man, I'm just reminded more of how I do not, do not like the water type in this game. Either of the others would have been good. All right, uh, cares deeply for its companions. Trainer's feeling down, performs a cheery dance to try to help. Okay, you're winning me over a little bit, I guess. You're a little cuter in the last one. And that's a really, really nice cry. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, all right, you won me over, Brion. So let's make a quick stop at the center and then we'll head off towards this first challenge. Man, nighttime came really quick. When I started this, it was day. And then it was evening. And now it's night, and I've been here for eight minutes. What's up, Ilima? Captain Ilima here, and my trial begins mere steps from here in Verdant Cavern. Note that the Pokemon living within Verdant Cavern are quite fierce. I wouldn't venture in unless you prefer some potions and so forth. Through attempting the trials during the island challenge, one can exceed his or her own limits. That's what the Alolan people believe. Once you enter Verdant Cavern, you will not be allowed to leave until you've completed the trial. Hmm, that's a little bit worrisome, but I think I can do it. I've got a good selection of uh, berries to keep me alive mid-fight. Okay, Um. so I did also do a little bit of Googling today just before I go in, or I guess I'll save this for when I go in. By the way, I'm going in. I've, I've made the plunge. Oh, this is much greener than I was expecting. Oh, this is nice. I like the jungle music. Let me formally work welcome you to Verdant Cavern. I'm your captain, Ilima. Allow me to explain the basics of my trial. What you should attempt to do is... Oh, it's a little Rattata. Oh, go and catch it. Aww. Defeat three of the Pokemon that lurk here in their dens. Then reach the pedestal deep within the cave and collect the Z-Crystal. You'll need to be completely in sync with your Pokemon to succeed. So, wait a sec. One more thing I forgot to mention. Many strong Pokemon, but one stronger and more fearsome than all the rest, known as a Totem Pokemon, also resides. It will be the greatest obstacle you face. Until you clear the trial, you will not be able to catch Pokemon in Verdant Cavern. This is but one of the seven trials you'll face during your island challenge. And it begins now, the trial of Captain Ilima. <laughs> okay, so this is very, very different from what I was expecting. Um, so I came in ex essentially expecting that this would be like a gym under a different name. This is much more in depth. Like, this is an actual constructed thing. Um, okay, I guess the uh, totem Pokemon must be the boss. What I was going to say, is that um, I've gone and I looked up uh, some extra Nuzlocke clarification stuff and like just to see what other people think of the different areas rules. So um, what I was going to say is that on the outer map I will abide by the yellow borders for the areas because it just makes sense to me. Even though these are both technically route one, uh, they're counted as separate on the map so I count them as separate. However, for things, for special areas such as dungeons, caves, or forests, uh, I will also count those separately. So this here, Verdant Cavern, is a new area that I'm going to count as different, even though it is technically part of Route 2, according to this, because areas are classified strangely. But that's what I'm going to do. However, this says that I'm not allowed to catch Pokemon in Verdant Cavern until I clear the trial, which is a thorn in my side. I was going to catch something here. However, however, I'm gonna 
call up, just, I'm gonna make a, a spot house roll here. Because it's banning me from catching anything anyways, um, I'm just gonna delay that rule. When I'm done, I can come back and catch the first thing that I face here. Okay? Okay. Ground rules have been covered. Let us continue on and see what we can do in here. So let's go uh, beat up this Rattata. Small den, you look inside? Yeah, why not? Sorry. <sighs> Wild Rattata appeared. So I think, I think fighting is good against dark types. So Barney G should have this covered. If I just force palm it. And I believe the Rattata is still a normal. Like, I think it's a dark, but I think it's also normal. So this should be a one shot. Boom. Dealt with. 101 experience. All right, that's one third done. I wonder what the totem is. Still two more Pokemon to defeat. Ah, Super Potion, very nice. Oh, a, ra a, ver uh, a revive. Okay, I was just inspecting the rock out of uh, curiosity. I was also just gonna say that there were no random encounters yet, but this guy appears to have run at me from inside uh, the cave. Okay, well, um, we already know that he can do this, so just knock him out again. Boosted 101. These are tatters given a lot, too. Level 16. Uh, defense and special? Good. As long as the defenses go up, I'm happy. Whirlwind. Sure. Let's see what we got here. Whirlwind is blown away and a different Pokemon is dragged out. In the wild, this ends a battle against a single Pokemon. <sighs> Do I actually want that? I don't think I want that. I'm finding use for Fake Out. Yeah, I think I will uh, just forget Whirlwind. Don't worry about it. Oh, that was the Rattata from the cave, okay. So, statement stands. No random encounters in here? Ooh, Brick Break, another TM. Uh, brick Break is Swift Chop. It can also break barriers, such as Light Screen and Reflect. That's cool. Hmm. And it's... And it's also powerful, like really powerful. Rock Smash is lower the target's defense at power of 40. Or power of 75, God, that's so strong. Alternatively, Barney G could forget Force Palm. May also leave the target with Paralysis. So I've got move, uh, although that's actually pretty tough too. Hmm. I actually think I'm going to teach it to Woodmeister because Woodmeister's already got a really high attack stat. I don't know if he needs to worry so much about lowering defense. So let's just replace that Rock Smash with a much more powerful move. <laughs> okay, great. I like the TMs are reusable. Like, because in the old games, I would always like just end up with a collection of dozens of TMs, because I would never want to use them, because they'd be gone. But now I'm like eager to open it up and immediately see what I can get out of it. So I see a thinger up here. Crawl through, grab that Pokeballs. Super Potion, very nice. Pop down. Small den here, will you look inside? Nothing. Oh, am I gonna have to catch this thing? Like it's gonna swap between uh, top and bottom? Eh, maybe not. Oh, you son of a bitch. You're gonna play round round Rosie with me, are you now? Is I, I don't think round Rosie's a thing. What are you doing? Trial guide. 
Looks like there's one more Pokemon to fight against. Thanks, Trial Guide, for helping me with basic math. X defense, very nice. Come on out, Rattata. Oh my god. Okay, so I think... Whoa, I think this is just a puzzle, and it's gonna... Wait. Oh, oh not these assholes again. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. We like trying to get in your way and shit. Just cause you hassle. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Oh, I see. Hmm. Just cause we switch places, you can't tell who we are anymore? Oh my god. It's so silly. We're here to mess this trial up, yo. Oh yeah, yo, let's get that Pokemon, homie. Bring it on, I guess. What do you got this time? Hopefully it's a little scarier than uh, what you threw at me before. Drowsy, okay. That is admittedly a bit scarier. Although, no wait, hmm. I think it was the second grunt last time who did have Drowsy, so this isn't even new. And the only reason I'm not leaving Barney G out is because weakness. So instead, I think I want to see what the new and improved Der Derpules handles like. Go get him! Oh, he's so much bigger, wow! Derpules, you got big! Oh, uh, I don't like your eyes anymore. <laughs> they look evil. Um, yeah, just, just fairy. Disarming voice. Not much, hmm. I was kind of expecting that to do more. All right, try Aqua Jet. Hit him with the stab. Stab damage. That's more like it. Oh, Derpules, you're a tank. Never change. Alrighty, drowsy down. Derpules gained a boosted 114. Barney G boosted 121. And Skull Grunt down. Is it cool for me to be in Team Skull if I'm this brittle? No, you should probably quit and go home and stop stealing things. Didn't your mother teach you any manners? For real though, I can't get my skull around it. This kid's mad strong, yo. No, I didn't even like that. This kid is straight up dangerous, homie. I don't know, man. Isn't this whole place trouble? I mean, that thing is so strong, the regular Pokemon don't even want to come out and battle. Oh, they're talking about the totem thing, aren't they? Way to fill me with anxiety and bail, guys. Wait, what? You know there's a mad strong Pokemon lurking back here somewhere, right? I'd run if I were you. No, nah, we're not going out like that. We gotta get our revenge. Go stand over that den and catch that skulking Rattata, yo. Fine, I got no bones to pick with you. Hmm. All right. Oh, now I gotta fight the other one because he's trying to keep him trapped. I see. Yo, get out of the way, please. Man enough for a uh, mon enough to take on that big old boss inside. Oh, okay. So now to now he's block. They're blocking the other entrances. So now I have to get him at the one that's left. There we go. Okay, okay, that's kind of clever. That's not a Rattata. That's Eradicate. Oh, he's got such puffy cheeks. Oh, he's so. He's so fat and mad. <laughs> I would love to have that Raticate. Oh, but I can't. I'm sorry, buddy. I gotta force palm you. Oh, you move faster. Ooh, focus energy's bad. Please one-shot him. Please just end his misery. Good. Oh, he's, I love his puffed up cheeks. Defeated all the Pokemon. So, I'm going to real quick now. Just give Makuhitu, um, sorry, Barney G. I keep wanting to call him his actual, like, his Pokemon name. Barney G, Barney G. Give him another, uh, Oran Berry. He's got a fair amount of HP, so he should be safe. For a little bit, but let's go talk to this guy. Prove your strength to all three Pokemon. Go right ahead inside. 
So this must be where the boss lies. It's finally time to get your mitts on your, fir your first Z crystal. Okay. Verdant Cavern, Totem's Den. Here we go. This is going to be the first boss fight of the game. Mm, I'm nervous. Piercing gaze, it seems to cut right through you. But from where? So this is just a confirmation, right? I can say no. And it gives me a second to prep. I feel good about this. My Pokemon have a lot of levels. Like, can I feel like considerably more than they should at this point, just because I spent so long grinding up Pichu. <laughs> oh, that's just another Raticate, though. That's not even scary. Okay, I guess, I guess he's kind of big. Has appeared. Sure, bring it on. Makuhitu, sorry, Barney G. Barney G can take you on. Suddenly, Aura flared to life its defense rose. Eh, that's all right. I've got a double super effectiveness. Suddenly super happy that I picked up uh, Barney G instead of any of those other ones. I'm sure the feeling won't last. Like it's good for right now against this specific boss and then later I'll wish I'd caught a Growlithe again. But for now, Barney G, you are a godsend. Also, I like your fat little butt. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and I got a crit. <laughs> yeah, I was worrying entirely too much. <laughs> Barney G grew to level 17. Uh, oh, no special defense. No, bad level. Experience thanks to XP share. Lippy grew to level 18, nice. Thunder Wave, ooh. I think Thunder Wave is the paralysis one, right? Yeah. The almost guaranteed paralysis. So I've got something that raises special attack. Something that lowers their attack. Echoed voice is a TM. So I could always learn it back. I think I'm going to do that. If I decide that I want echoed voice instead, I'll just replace charm or nasty plot. But for now, forget echoed voice. Learn yourself a status effect. I might be able to use that to more successfully catch future guys. Totem eradicate. Well done, Barney G. And give you a little high five here. Boom. Radicate disappeared back in the cave somewhere. For you to be able to defeat the totem Pokemon I had trained up to such a powerful state, I don't know what I can say. Working in harmony, you have cleared the tile of Ilima. The 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 Tyrol. <laughs> Phenomenal trainer, congratulations, Z Crystal. Oh right, this is my first actual Z Crystal. Maybe I'll learn something about this now. That looks like an unknown. All right, cool. I got all up in a fuss and a tizzy for nothing. Normalium Z. Hmm. Is that for normal types? Are they broken up into types? I have so many questions. The normal Z crystal. If you let a Pokemon that can use a normal type move, hold that. Quit your dancing <laughs> and strike an elegant pose. Then you'll be able to strengthen a normal type move by unleashing Z power. Okay, so what you're saying is I shouldn't have forgotten Echoed Voice, because that was a normal move. First, there's one thing I forgot to mention. The Totem Pokemon. In every locale where a captain holds his or her trials, he will encounter a particularly strong one. During battles, they may summon allies. Oh! Oh, that's kind of interesting. Perhaps the Pokemon in Alola are simply more inclined to help one another. You manage to defeat the totem, you can now try to catch any of them you find here in this cave. In fact, have some great balls. Okay, nice, thank you. And here, let me see to your Pokemon after all their hard work. I don't think I'm ever gonna run out of balls just because I'm catching so few. I have something interesting I'd like to show you. Come with me to Route 3. I will catch you right outside, buddy, but first I need to catch me Pokemons. Okay, so Verdant Cavern. Once again, counting this as a separate area, I will swap in Lippy, because you have the ability to paralyze and the weakest attacks right now, so least likely to kill a new addition. And let's get you swapped out. 
Now, what is it that's going to show up? What can we catch? Pretty tough. And you managed to get a Z Crystal and finish. You'll be a trainer I keep an eye on. There we go. Just about to ask, are there still no random encounters? Not a Zubat, not a Zubat, not a Zubat, please. Oh, a Diglett! I think I can deal with a Diglett. A little bit of ground type moves. Never hurts. Shit. This renders my Pokemon catcher completely useless. Electric type moves don't hit grounds anymore, I think. Does ground work on fighting? Um. I think ground moves don't touch flying. Fighting is super effective against. Okay, good. I could put in Barney G. Wait. Flying is. I'm confused. Flying is not very effective against ground? Or is it saying that his type is effective against these types of attacks? I'm, let's try this. Electroshock has no effect. Okay, that must be what it is. This move is no effect against... Aqua is super effective. Okay, so it's the moves against him. So why would flying be not very effective? Is this Diglett a rock type? That's the only thing I can think of, because I thought that flying was super effective against ground, but if it's rock, that would ex also explain why normal's not very effective. And why fighting would be super, super effective. Done, done. Get out there, Barney G. Don't hurt it very much. Just, just give it a little love tap. But if this is a ground and a rock, ooh, that could be useful. Metal Claw. Ooh, that hurts. Ooh, that's... Okay, that was a crit. Good. Yeah, the tackles are not very effective. And the fighting. It must be rock. Okay, so just lower its accuracy for now, because I have a feeling like I'm going to want to uh, peck at this thing for a while to lower it down. Yo, Diglett, how about fuck you? Stop avoiding my attacks. God damn it! He's using Mud Slap, and it's like it's screwing with my accuracy in return. Just tackle it. See what happens. Oh boy, okay. Tangling hair. Speed fit. What? Why does Diglett have hair? Okay, well, if this is just what's gonna happen, Diglett called for help. It, it's help didn't appear. Interesting. Is this just gonna be like a regular mechanic that some wild Pokemon will use? Oh god, we're stuck in a loop now. Calling for help again. What's happening? Oh my god. Oh, there's another one. So single battles can just become doubles. That's kind of crazy and cool. Okay, um... Now I don't have the luxury of waiting, so try a Pokeball. It's no good, it's impossible to aim unless there's only one. So I, now I have to take out the other one. And Makuhiru's not doing so hot with accuracy. Try force palming that guy. God damn it, even less accuracy. Flinching, am, am I gonna, am I gonna have to swap out? Am I gonna have to bring in Derpilis here? Just to wrap up this Diglett fight? Yo, eat shit, Diglett. You know what? That's exactly what's gonna happen right now. Derpy Lees, get out here. 
<sighs> Barney G has done what he could. But now I should have a double super effectiveness against this Diglett. So how about eat shit and die? Derpy Lees and Barney. Diglett use Metal Claw. Okay, because this one's still got poor accuracy. Now I can use a the Pokeball on a the Diglett and hopefully catch a the Diglett. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Yay! I got me a Diglett. I got me a Diglett with two tiny, weird little blonde hairs. And Derpilies grew to level 18. Nice. That's a level up. That right there is a goddamn level up, I tell you what, boy. Its golden hairs function as sensor. Oh, it's an Alola form. Oh, this is a different one from the regular Diglett. I got my first Alola form! It pokes them out of its burrow to monitor its surroundings. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. Hammering his little head. Alright, what are we gonna name this Diglett? It's a male Diglett. I mean... I feel like the easy joke is to just go with the black dick that everybody has always, has always said that Diglett is. But now with the introduction of these little feelers, I feel like I need to, I need to say something, something special about it. <laughs> Perfect. I got it. I got it. Pubert. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me entirely too giggly. Pubert, join the party. Yay! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo, all right. All righty then. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Pubert. Let's get you up front here so that you can uh, absorb a little bit of EXP from any fights on the way out. Then we'll go see what Ilima wants at Route 3. <laughs> what do you know? Zubats were an option. Thank you, various gods, that I didn't get a Zubat. Like, I actually, you, you know what? Um, I think that I'm going to use this opportunity here to call this one an episode. Because... Like we, we actually did get manage to get a fair amount of stuff done here. Uh, we checked out the new Pokemon Center, we got some more berries. We came in and we did the first trial, and we even got ourselves a new Pokemon. We had another Team Skull encounter, a lot of stuff went down. So, I will go to uh, Captain Ilima on the outside and check out Route 3 and probably get another new Pokemon in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit the like button down below if you like this series. Once again, episode one has now gotten up to 11 likes, and I'm so super stoked and proud of that, of myself and of you guys. And um, let me know uh, if there's anything I can do in return for you guys for that. Um, I was thinking maybe uh, I could take suggestions for future nicknames on Pokemon. Like, that that might be one idea. You guys let me know down in the comments if you th feel that's lame or if that's something you'd be up for. Uh, and anyways, uh, hit the subscribe button as well if you are not yet. Looking forward to the next one. Gonna catch me a sixth, hopefully, and finally have a rounded out team. So, uh, later guys.